hello to all of you so finally we will we'll start the design steps of sadar type falls before the start this design step we have to understand what is sadar type fall so basically this type of fall was designed and developed for sardar canal system of uttar pradesh the complete design consists of the following components parts which are first is crest crest that means sikha choti and the second cistern cistern that that means tanki and the third imp, impervious floor that's mean prabal tal in hindi and fourth is downstream protection this is short form of down, downstream uh, that mean bahav sanrakshan in hindi and the fifth is upstream approach that's means upar ki or pahunch let's explain about it any more then we will try to understand why it was designed so basically the sardar type fall is a vertical drop fall in which then is a raised crest and there is a vertical impact this type of fall was evolved uh, to replace the nose fall on the sardar canal system in uttar pradesh it was found to be more economical than the nose fall so you may understand why it was designed this was too much economical moreover it was simple in design and construction so uh, the maximum height of sim uh, drop was 1.8 meter that was 6 feet okay now let's begin to the design system okay so step number first let's start step first step first is find out height find out height that is capital h so we know formula of discharge q equals to 1.99 l h ki 3 by 2 and h divided by b whole power 1 divided by 6 so basically we design for the trapezoidal but in some condition it may be rectangular too for the rectangular this formula will not use the formula will be changed for rectangular q equals to Q equals to one point eight three five L into multiply into H to the power three divided by two H by V of whole power one divided by six. Okay, so this is formula for rectangular crest, but basically this is used because everywhere you will get trapezoidal. Okay. so we have to use this formula basically for the trapezoidal crest and you have to remember this this for trapezoidal this for rectangular okay and where h equals to full supply depth plus drop level okay and d equals to drop level small d and l equals to length and b equals to 0.55 under root h plus small d and i wanted to also tell you b will be changed for rectangular and in the rectangular condition uh, b will be for rectangular v will be v equals to 0.55 under root d only where base with v v v1 equals to h plus d upon specific gravity okay v is top with and b1 is base with i want to understand you where is b and where is b1 assume this is rectangular this is cistern part and this is length of cistern from here to here and uh, this is height of small d and uh, this is top with capital v for the rectangular section i am understanding to you 
and uh, this is vase v1 vase with v1 okay and uh, we will understand about to trapezoidal also trapezoidal will be like this its top with v its base b1 okay and uh, for the trapezoidal section we will find out base width by upstream better and lower stream better sorry downstream better then upstream better will be 1 ratio 3 and downstream better will be 1 ratio 8 you will find out base width by this formula uh, I, I will also show you in the next video when we will design okay so next in this step length of crest above bed okay d minus h so what is d and h here d equals to full supply depth full supply depth and h equals to depth plus drop level okay we will clear all the things in the next video when i will design with the numerical and step second is design of crest so we have already understood that the crest is of two type first rectangular and second trapezoidal and uh, we have to find out the velocity head in the second step velocity head which equals to v square upon 2z and the second is upstream tel what is tel tel means total energy line which will found by upstream fsl plus velocity head To find out upstream total energy line we find we found velocity at okay or and for the C to evaluate the value of RL of crest and RL is the reduced level reduced level of crest which is which will found by upstream TEL that means total energy line minus H which was height have to find in the step number first and the d is value of energy value of energy that is capital e and i will find up stream total energy line minus rl of crest which both is find found up stream total energy line and rl of crest is c okay now we will design system step number three design of design of system so for the step number three we will find of depth of system which will indicate by x is equals to 1 divided by 4 into e into s whole to the power 2 divided by 3 and the second will v length of system length of system which will lc is equals to 5 e s to the power half 1 divided by 2 okay and the second thing c is r l that means reduced level of bed of cistern these all the design step of are that i fall this will equal of reduced level of downstream bed and now b tends to step number four design of impervious floor
so for step number four we find out a c page head c page head h s will be equal of d small d and the second thing b length of impervious floor length of impervious floor will be c into h s you know what is s s that is c page head and what is c c equals to coefficient of creep okay and the c is vertical length of creep how it will find out vertical length of creep 2 into d1 plus d2 what is d1 plus d2 d1 is upstream cutoff and d2 is downstream cutoff and now d of step number 4 minimum length of impervious floor okay so ld will be indicate minimum length of impervious floor ld will be 2 into capital d plus 1.2 plus this is 1.2 plus hc so we will find step 5 also check for floor check the floor thickness by Kosla theory so about to this we have to check exit gradient which indicated by G suffix capital E is equals to 1 divided by pi under root lambda into H suffix S which is C page head divided by D2 d2 is downstream cutoff and uh, for lambda it is 1 plus under root 1 plus alpha square divided by 2 which will give the value of alpha and uh, the second v is length of downstream floor ld equals to 2 d plus 0 0.2 plus hc so the design have been completed and we will we will explain all the steps in the next video when we will solve the numerical okay thank you